Okay, hello guys. We are back with another video here. I'm adjusting my headset. Uh, another react video to chilling scares. Uh, another great video, I'm assuming. I haven't seen it. What the hell is that in my background? What is what is happening right now? Something's happening in my background and I'm getting Discord notifications. But anyways, um, once again, like and sub to this channel. Oh, I am blocking the channel. Sorry. I, I'm kind of blocking it there. Uh, chilling scares right here. Um, let me know if you want me to change my camera position. I've been wondering recently. I'm kind of speeding through this intro. Oh, it's Mr. Beast. Okay. I'm sorry. But here we are. Six most disturbing locations found on Google Maps. Once again, I've not seen these videos, but I know they're normally spectacular. Most disturbing location. New Baltimore is a small town in New York with a population of just over 3,000 people. In 2007, the first images of the town were uploaded to Google Maps. But unlike most locations on the platform, for some reason my the water bottle. images seem to be corrupted, making the entire town look mm. warped and discolored, resembling something completely different from the actual town in real life. If you zoom out far enough, the glitch disappears, oh and the roads, people, and houses start to look normal again. The location had the same appearance on Google Maps for eight years until in 2015, <laughs> Google finally managed to fix the issue by uploading eight new pictures years. of New Baltimore to the platform. To this day, it's unknown what caused the glitch, and Google never gave an explanation as to why it happened. Of course, small glitches and equipment errors happen all the time, but what's unusual is that this is the only location on the platform where the entire town looked like this. But what's most disturbing is that even after Google supposedly fixed the glitch around 2015 after eight years of its existence, some people still reported that there were certain spots in New Baltimore where the street view would temporarily glitch and show a distorted, creepy version of the people and houses. It's a little because creepy. Google never disclosed any information about the glitch publicly, people have tried to come up with explanations for years. Never disclosed nothing in the only town in the entire all, world? And that New Baltimore is really some kind of portal, while others say the entire town is haunted. To this day, some people still claim that the glitch was never entirely fixed. Dang. In 2019, okay. a man named Jerry Nyman was simulating a school bus route in Florida using Google Maps. At the time, Jerry a worked for route? the transportation department of the Palm Beach County School District, and his job involved making sure the bus routes were safe enough so children could easily so get on and off the bus videos. without having to walk close to any busy highways. One day, Jerry got an email from a nearby middle school asking him to make sure the current bus routes were safe, and this is where things took a turn. After reading the email, Jerry oh, realized gosh, that the school was turn. close to his ex-girlfriend Erica's house. As he was checking the bus route on Google Maps, he noticed something that looked like a white car at the edge of a man-made lake next to Erica's house. What? He quickly texted her and asked her if she had ever seen the car. She said no, but offered to go over and take a look. Because the water was brown what? and murky, she had to ask a neighbor for help. After which, her neighbor confirmed that there was indeed a white car in the retention they pond found the and car called 911. The Police showed up and interrogated Google Jerry, Maps. thinking that he might have had something to do with it. But he explained that he had just found the car on Google Maps. Shockingly, after pulling the car out of the pond and looking inside, the police found a man's skeleton still wearing a seatbelt in the driver's what? seat. What? As it was later revealed, the car belonged to a man named William Mould, a 40-year-old mortgage broker who had disappeared way back in 1997. The story goes that on November 7th, William was at a nightclub, and at about 9.30 p.m., he called his girlfriend to let her know that he would be heading home soon. According to witnesses, William had not really up in a lake? anyone, and although he'd had several drinks, he didn't appear to be intoxicated when he left the club at around 11 p.m. in his white sedan. That night was the last night anyone would see him alive. Oh God. After his girlfriend reported him missing, police began an investigation, but with no new leads, they the case didn't quickly find him at all. Considering how dark the water was in the retention pond, it's not surprising that nobody had noticed the car for 22 years until it was found on Google Maps. The circumstances around William Mould's disappearance and how his car ended up in the lake remain unknown. Yeah, I mean, how do you just end up in a lake? This disturbing scene was captured in a public park in a oh small gosh, city in Holland. What's happening here? In 2013, <laughs> These videos just give me the same NCAV reaction. Posted this image every with time. the caption, "A murder near my house on Google Maps." The satellite image murder? shows what appears to be a trail of blood on a dock. The quality isn't great, and it's hard to tell what exactly sure is blood? happening, but many people have claimed that the image shows two men dragging a dead body into the water. After the post quickly went viral, police launched an investigation to find out oh, whether or not they actually, actually found the body. place at the dock. Investigators and reporters thought they might get valuable information by interviewing nearby business owners. 
but nobody had seen anything suspicious. If it was oh, a murder, the exact getting rid of a dead body in the middle of a popular public park in broad daylight is questionable. Yeah. But as you'll soon see, stranger and more disturbing things have been captured on Google's satellite images. A week after the image was posted, a 52-year-old woman named Jacqueline Kunen claimed that the image shows her and her friend playing with her brown golden retriever, My and that dog? the trail of liquid was actually water from the dripping dog, which Makes looks dark sense. red in the picture because of the lighting. While this is a possibility, crime scene investigators aren't fully convinced. Forensic analysts say that the stains look exactly like blood looks in the satellite image, and that the stain patterns on the dock show a clear dragging pattern, as if something heavy had been dragged on the dock. Does look like a dragging pattern. pattern. Years after the original image was captured, a forensic team analyzed the scene with special equipment. They found no traces of blood on the dock, but they said it's possible the blood could have fully faded after so much time. Whether the satellite no one captured an innocent image of two women playing with a dog or something much more gruesome remains unconfirmed. So, so Strangely, no if you look the at the water? dock on Google Maps today, there's a bright red circle with two lines in the center of the dock. But I couldn't find an explanation on what this means. <laughs> we just randomly it's throw a great that in. Idea. House sitters get somewhere to stay. Pet care. We, the house owners, get someone to look. Lit. Some pet care right there. In a random location in Seattle. But we're here for scary <laughs> Street stuff car like that. Four masked men They're just staring the middle at the, the car. Road. On one side oh, of the no. road, a man wearing a scream mask can be seen next to another man wearing a Mexican wrestling mask over his face. And a third that person guy with a werewolf sitting. mask stands in the middle of the road alongside another man wearing a balaclava and a hat. After the discovery was posted on Reddit about a year ago, people started coming up with theories to explain the strange scene. One possibility is that the people in the image were following the Mexican Day of the Dead tradition of dressing up in masks and costumes to dance and celebrate their ancestors. Could on this be. holiday, it's common in some communities for people to dress up and dance on the street for money, inviting passers Or they were trying to, to scare the, the legend the goes that if you join car. in and dance with them once, you have to do it for seven years straight to avoid getting chased by ghosts. Okay. The Day of the Dead theory sounds possible, however, the picture was taken in April, and the Day of the Dead isn't until November which means that the people in the image were covering their face for another this reason. Music, so Many people have speculated online that since the photograph was taken in an area made famous by the Sonora cartel, the men could be cartel members. Mm. The reasons for standing on the road are unclear, but some people think that something sinister might have been taking place. Did the driver the make it out alive? The Sonora cartel is one of the oldest and most notorious drug cartels in Mexico. They made their name as one of the first cartels to ship many different drugs into the U.S. But whether the people in the image are actually cartel members has not been confirmed. Interestingly, this isn't the first sighting of people wearing strange masks on Google Maps. Really? In 2013, oh, a group of people was photographed wearing pigeon masks near <laughs> a railway station in western Tokyo. That was a Although jump scare. Although the image is a little creepy, it was later revealed that the whole thing was actually just a staged prank led by a group of art students from a nearby university. <laughs> but it's unlikely that this is what was happening in the images that were taken in Mexico. What the? <laughs> in March of 2014, a Malaysia Airlines plane uh -huh. with 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board disappeared during a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The mysterious disappearance of Flight 370 triggered a massive oh. international search operation. I, I've known about this flight. But three years later, in January 2017, the governments of Malaysia, Australia, and China called mm -hmm. off the search. I remember this, To this actually. day, the reasons for the plane's disappearance are unknown. Mm -hmm. But because it's known that a plane has to be under manual control to deviate as much from its course it? as Flight 370 did, most experts speculate that a sort of hijacking operation is the most likely explanation. Or aliens. One I saw a video the was called aliens. Off, I, I'm being... Kind of Wilson serious. claimed that he had found the crash site kind of on serious. Google Maps in a random location in the middle of the Cambodian jungle. Determined to find the remains of Flight 370, oh, Ian and his brother Jackie traveled to Cambodia to search for the plane. Unfortunately, because the terrain in the jungle was incredibly dangerous, they had to turn back before they could reach the crash site. But the brothers planned to return to the Cambodian jungle sometime in the future to find it. Although it's disturbing to see a plane stranded in the middle yeah. of the jungle, authorities have clarified that it's unlikely that this is the lost Malaysia Airlines plane. Random debris was found from Flight 370 on the shores mm -hmm, of different countries on the African coast two years before the Google Maps sighting. And it would have been almost impossible for this debris to have made its way from the Cambodian jungle to the beach, across the Indian Ocean, and onto the shores of Madagascar and Tanzania. But there's also evidence that suggests this could be the crash site of Flight 370. For example, at the time the plane lost contact with the operations center, it was reportedly in Cambodian airspace. 
Also, the missing Malaysia hmm. Airlines plane was a Boeing 777, which measures about 242 feet, and using the measuring tool on Google Maps, the length of the plane in the satellite image is almost a perfect match. Some Cambodian residents also revealed during interviews that they had seen a plane with a kite-like emblem flying overhead in that same area around the date of the crash. The contradicting evidence triggered a conspiracy theory, with people claiming that the debris had been planted on the shores of African countries by the Malaysian government to close the case quickly <coughs> and Sorry. avoid having to admit that they completely botched the initial search for the plane. Because so it's still no unknown where Flight here? 370 crashed, this could be a possibility. But even if this isn't where Flight 370 went down, the fact that there's a random, undocumented plane stranded in the middle of the Cambodian jungle is yeah. pretty unsettling. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty freaky to see that in real life. The story oh, behind this Google Maps image. Yet. On the night of August 14th, 2009, Kevin Barrera's life was tragically taken on a footpath crossing Great. the railroad tracks that separate North Richmond from San Are we going to see California. him before his death? His remains were discovered the next morning by a passerby, oh, and police soon showed up at the scene of the crime. Investigators never found a motive for the event, and the crime was sadly never solved. Four years later, in 2013, the boy's father was using Google's satellite view when he noticed something pretty disturbing. Oh, For some unknown reason, the satellite image of the area just so happened to be captured on the exact day after the incident. The aerial view shows a police car and a group of five investigators standing next to the tracks. Disturbingly, also seen is Kevin Barrera. After Kevin Barrera's father reported the image, Google Maps took it what? down eight days later, but the damage to the family had already been done. Sorry guys, my recording crashed, but I also rewinded to see <laughs> Kevin. I'm sorry, Kevin. Uh, I'm guessing Kevin's this white box that is split up body parts. I'm guessing he put Google that Google satellite view when he noticed something pretty disturbing. For some unknown reason, the satellite image of the area just so happened to be captured on the exact day after I'm the I'm guessing incident. the white box is highlighted. The aerial view shows a parts. police car and a group of five investigators standing next to the tracks. Disturbingly, also seen is Kevin Barrera. After Kevin Barrera's father reported the image, Google Maps took it down eight days later. But the damage to the all the memories are coming back to four years ago. I'm in shock. Well, I mean, why did you? Why would you look in the exact area where your son died then, in Google Maps? Like this area of Richmond, mm -hmm. known as the Iron Triangle, is reportedly a big homicide hotspot. Between February and October of 2013, six people were killed near the railroad tracks. Gosh. Although these kinds of events are still being reported in that area to this day, this is the only time one of them was captured by Google's satellite images and shown publicly on the platform. Yeah, I wonder if Google Maps has caught like any other murders. That'd be kind of creepy. Okay, that was a great video, guys. Uh, I believe he has another video on Google Maps. But I'll put up his channel here. Uh, also, a recommended video for you. But thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure what my next reaction video will be, but hopefully you'll be there. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.